<laughs> I have been waiting for years for this right now. Joining me now are two of the best fighters on the planet Earth. Welterweight champions Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence Jr. They've announced that they'll fight one another for the undisputed welterweight crown July 29th in Las Vegas. Errol Spence Jr., Terrence Crawford, welcome to First Take. Errol, let's start with you here. Uh, I, I mean, what the hell took this fight so long to happen? We've been waiting years for this. How excited are you about it, and why did it take so long, Errol? I mean, great things take time. I mean, we both were going through, you know, negotiations and things, but we're here now. So all this stuff in the past, just the present, we're here. we fighting each other. May the best man win. I, I feel like this is the best fight, what's the way fight of the last probably 40 years. This is a fight of the decade. The best mm. versus the best. Terrence Crawford, how do you feel about the fact that the fight is finally here? We know how great you are. 39 and 0 in your career with about 30 KOs. We know how elite you are. We know how elite Errol is. We know you've been wanting this for a long time. Terrence, how difficult has it been to wait for this fight, and how are you feeling now that it's here? Oh, it's been very difficult, as you know. Uh, it's, it's been frustrating, uh, but I'm, I'm excited. I'm happy. You know, uh, the fans is happy. Everybody's happy. You know, we're here now. You know, and I'm going to show the world why I'm the best fighter on the planet. And um, everybody need to tune in July 29th to watch me, Errol Spence, go out there and put on a tremendous show. Errol Spence, a lot of people look at you and they've said you've been the natural welterweight. As a matter of fact, people have wondered whether or not you was going up to junior middleweight on several occasions because you were considered the bigger guy. They've been waiting for this fight for a long time, but they felt, at, at least at some point years ago, that Terrence might have been a little bit smaller, or too small for you because he was coming up from the junior welterweight division. Want to know your thoughts about what you think of Terrence Crawford and why and how do you think you're going to win this fight? Uh. I'm a man of my word, like I, like I said. People thought I was going to move up, but I, just like I told him when we encountered each other in Oklahoma, I said, I'm going to get these belts on my side, and I'm going to come take yours. And, you know, this is where we at now, and I, and I stood on that. Even if it was leaving me standing out the ring a whole year, they trying to get me to fight other people. This is the fight I wanted, so I stuck to my guns. and was like, I'm not fighting until I fight Terrence Crawford, so my team got it going. Um... Uh, with me, I feel like my style is, you know, is 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 basically, you know, not, I'm not gonna say perfect, but it's very good. I got the jab, you know. I feel like I might be the stronger opponent. Um, great body shots. Um, he has great talent, great skills. But I feel like my ability, my will, and my my all around just being the better fighter, I'm gonna beat him. Terrence. He just finished saying that he wanted to be a man of his word, that he promised you before he moved on from the welterweight division, if that were to ever occur, that he was going to get those three belts and come and then take yours. First, how I do you promise feel? Him. I promised the fans. I promised the fans. My, my bad. My bad. You promised the fans. How do you feel about him having made that promise and lived up to that promise? And what do you think you're going to do to Errol Spence Jr. July 29th? Well, I love it. I love it. You know what I mean? Like, like I said, you know, I've been wanting this fight. Everybody been knowing I've been wanting this fight. He said he was going to take the easy route and go, you know, handle what he had to handle. And he did that. So now, you know, he got to live up to his word and come in to take this belt. You know, the, the last one is always the hardest one. And I assure you, it won't be like none of the other fights. You know, uh, he, he believe in his style. I believe in my style. You know, um, it's going to be a great fight. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Terrence, a lot of us have been talking about Errol for years because obviously he's undefeated and he's a champion. He's got three belts. We know how great he is. Even though we all recognize that you are great, there have been times when you and I have run across one another, when I've seen you talking to other people, and you see the, you seem to wear this, this belief on your shoulders, on your sleeves, that cats don't believe in me as much as they should. Do you feel this fight is, like, career-defining for you? You've got to win this fight in spectacular fashion for you to get the respect you believe that you deserve? Well, it's always like that. Every fight is, is you know, like that for me. You know, um, every fight is meaningful. Every fight is, you know, I need to win this fight. Uh, and I'm, 
you know, 100% certain, Errol feel the same. So, you know, there's a lot riding on this fight. You know, this is the biggest fight in boxing in decades, you know. So, you know, uh, of course, uh, I want to go out there and put on a tremendous show and win in spectacular fashion. Um, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling strong. I'm feeling I'm I'm ready to go next week if, if it was need be, you know. But at the same time, everything, you know, has its time. The sun shining on everybody and you know, the sun going to shine on me July 29th. I'll throw this question out to both y'all and Errol. I'll ask you first. We talk about the welterweight division here. You talked about, Errol, you just said something, Errol, a, a few minutes ago when you talked about this being maybe the greatest fight in the welterweight division in the last 40 years or something. Well, let me remind you of some of those fights. We got Sugar Ray Leonard versus Tommy the Hitman Hearns. We had Hearns versus Duran, Roberto Duran. We had somebody, even though Pepino Cuevas ain't on that level, he was still good and he was a champion until Hearns put him to sleep in two rounds. We saw Alexis Aguilo versus Aaron Pryor. We've seen a whole bunch of great and, and welterweight and that, fights. And, 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 and this fight up there with all of them, Definitely. When people talk this, about this fight, they're going to say Sugar Ray Leonard, Tommy Hearns. They're going to say Alessio Guerrero, all that. This fight up there with all of them. Where I was going was, it is right now on paper. But when you get in that ring, two undefeated fighters that's capable of knocking you out are going up against one another. So give us a taste of what we should expect to see July 29th based on the history, the history that I just threw your way. I mean, the proof is in the pudding. You see Terrence Crawford, you see his body at work. You see my body at work when I get in the ring. Yeah, everybody already know. As soon as I get in the ring, I'm stepping. And I expect him to step two. We're going to put on a great show and a great performance. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.